Hi, my name is Brad Goss, and I want to tell you about Content Primer. Content Primer is an idea that I've had for a while, but I hadn't found the right partner to work on it with me until just recently. Uh, that's when I met Andrew Lewin, who is a member of uh, my mastermind group and a fantastic software engineer. And I came to him with this idea uh, a few months ago, and he loved it. And so he decided to partner with me on it, and I'm really glad that he did. Um, essentially, what Content Primer is, is it's for anyone who's a product creator. And if you're like me, you've probably created your product where you know, you've, you've worked really hard, maybe spent a, a month or two creating a product and really poured your heart and soul into, into your work. Maybe you've spent even more time on it than that. And uh, maybe a few days after starting to sell it online, you noticed that people were giving it away on BitTorrent websites and Black Hat forums and all these other places where uh, products end up sort of being redistributed uh, and you don't get paid for them. Uh, or you've dealt with the problem where you know maybe you're selling five hours of video and somebody downloads your product and then half an hour later asks for a refund and you know that they haven't watched all your videos and they're probably going to watch them after that refund is issued. Um, and so we came up with this idea to create an application that delivers our content to the end user in such a way where if they refund it, uh, they can't access it any longer, so your videos don't work anymore, your PDFs don't work anymore, you know, any of the content, your MP3s, anything that you put up with us no longer works after someone refunds it. Uh, and even better, uh, that content is uh, locked down to their PayPal address or their payment address and their transaction ID. So if they try and share it with a friend or put it up on BitTorrent, uh, they're going to have to give up their personal information to do so, uh, making it really easy for you to find out who they are and remove them from the system just as easily. And you'll be unlocking or you'll be locking out uh, thousands of illegal downloaders in one sweep. So that's essentially what Content Primer is. I'm going to show you how it works because I, I, I think it's probably better to do a, a demo and show you how it works. So this is what you, the product creator, will see on the back end of Content Primer once you've uh, purchased your lifetime product license. Essentially, you're in this window here where you can add as many products as you want to Content Primer. There's no limit to the number of products that you can add. Uh, you can change some of the resources from your product. You can edit your company info, um, all that good stuff. So adding a product uh, is pretty simple. All you have to do is click on the Add button, uh, create a product name. We're going to call this one I'm Awesome. <laughs> We're going to save it. It says Product Saved. Now you can see here that it's in Setup Mode. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. This is a live product here. And really, live or setup, setup just means you're kind of in the, in the process of setting it up. Live means that it's already been deployed out, on, uh, out into Content Primer and users can, can view it. But you can still edit it. That's the cool part. So you can actually go into an existing product. And you can see here I have a video introduction that I've hosted on Amazon S3. You can host it on your own server. You can host it anywhere you want. And I also have a PDF mind map. But I can add as many other elements to this as I want. I can add uh, audio, video, audio being MP3, video being MP4, uh, just add the path to it, PDF or a web page. And uh, it's, as, it's as simple as that. And I just click Add. And then it goes into this list here. And I can have as many resources as I want in one product. And I can also rearrange the order if I maybe I want the mind map to show up before the introduction or vice versa. Obviously, you probably want your introduction to show up first. So that's the order we're going to want it in. Uh, and these will show up as tabs in the application, which I'll show you in a second. So we're just going to save the order on that. And we can go back to products here, and uh, we can click the Deploy button. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us the IPN forwarding URL and the key generation URL. And the good news is you don't have to know how these work. All you have to know is these two URLs get pasted into the same field uh, in WSO Pro. There are two fields for these two items to be pasted into WSO Pro. Once you've done that, your product is now connected with Content Primer. You don't have to do anything else other than set your product up, which I just showed you how to do as well. Super easy. So I'm just going to close this down and I'm going to show you how the Content Primer application delivers your product. So this is Content Primer. And you can see here that my product was named Brad's Killer Product. So it's created a tab for Brad's Killer Product. The register product here is actually for new product. If somebody buys a second product or a third product, uh, it adds to the existing application. So they don't have to download hundreds of applications if you've got dozens of products. Um, there's a configuration here. They can get support that's done through us, or they can log out of Content Primer. And you can see here, here's the PDF mind map. Uh, and so it just, it just views the PDF. And this particular PDF is actually set up to allow to be printed. But you can set your PDF so that it isn't allowed to be printed, depending on how you do things. Um, and uh, that, that'll work for this PDF. But you see here, if I right click it, I can't save it out anywhere. I can't, I can't 
copy this PDF anywhere out. I can only view it inside this application. And the same with my introduction video. This is just a video that's hosted on my own server, or it's hosted on uh, Amazon 3 actually, but it comes from my server. So they can play the video, but there's no way to save the video. If I right click on the video, or I, it's not actually in the application. So there's no way for me to download this video outside of the application. And if I refund my purchase, the next time I launch the application, Brad's Killer Product tab just will not appear here. In fact, they'll just have a register product screen because they won't have any products in the system. So that's kind of how the user experience works. So that's Content Primer in a nutshell. Uh, right now we're taking on a limited number of beta users at a very low price. You're going to get a lifetime license. You're going to be able to put unlimited products into Content Primer for one low price. I only have you know limited number of spots available for that, so grab your license while you can.